What's going on, smart people? Today, I'm going to talk about one of my weak points in physics. I've got a shitload of classical mechanics due tomorrow, so I'm going to make this quick. When it comes to problem solving, I tend to be as general as possible with my jumping off point, where I start the problem. I make as few assumptions as possible, that way I can describe more things. And that makes me very thorough, and it keeps me from making all of these unnecessary mistakes all the time, but there are times where you inarguably do not need to be that general, let me show you an example. So I'm going to go over part of a quick quantum example. If you don't have quantum experience, that's fine. You don't need to know the details to get the point of this. But I want to know, is DDX a Hermitian operator? Well, the normal way to go about this, we'll do it the normal way, and then the longer Andrew way, is you would just want to know, is DDX equal to its Hermitian conjugate? Transpose. Actually, this follows over this side too. It's still the question that you want to see. But when you formulate the question, you know that you're going to want to sandwich that in between a couple of functions. So that's gonna what we're asking is is some function phi star on x d dx psi of x equal to Okay, so that's what you would end up asking, does this equal this? And this should have been a dx, because it's only over one variable, but whatever, that's not the point. Uh, but me, I'd start a few steps behind. I'd start saying something like, uh, And we'd have to go all the way down this step of using integration by parts, flipping stuff around, then doing it again for the Hermitian conjugate part, just to ask the question. So this eventually leads to this part, which isn't the answer to the problem by any means. This is just what I want to find. So going through all of these unnecessary steps, just to get to the point to where I know what the question is that I'm asking. I mean, my way is clearly very thorough, and I think that it means that I know maybe more than some other people, why you can just plop the operator in between two, two functions. But, I mean, this has its disadvantages. One, it is slow, but who cares how long it takes you to solve something? Well, it matters if you're taking an exam. And just today, I had a quiz in quantum mechanics, and I pulled in Andrew, where I started out way too general on the questions. I knew how to answer every single question on the quiz but I didn't get to because I ran out of time because I started way too general when I could have made some basic assumptions and it hurt me at the end. So I'm going to end up missing a good amount of points on that quiz, not because I didn't know how to solve the problems. Like I said, I knew how to solve all of them. Apparently I just have a hard time starting the problems if I'm not starting from the most general case and that just really eats up all my time. So this isn't one of those videos that ends up being like, and this is how I fixed that. No, that's still something that, I, that is affecting me. But maybe doing something like this where I make a video on a weak point of mine will serve as sort of like a constant reminder that that's something that I need to work on. And hopefully in the future, I'll be better at identifying more efficient ways of solving problems. Maybe if instead of me starting my problems by just saying, well, what do I absolutely know? The most general case, and then following the logic from there, I can start doing something like saying, well, what do I absolutely know? Okay, now what is a fair assumption that I can make to just simplify this right off the bat? Because this way, it's it's doing more harm than good. I think it can be really helpful if you're doing like research or something because you're being really, really careful. But as far as academics goes, I mean, that's still not going anywhere. I mean, you got four years of undergrad, maybe five years of grad school, so the time constraint doesn't go away. So just got to find a way around it. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Let me know in the comments section what is a weak point that you need to work on, and I'll see you guys there.